Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan, missed it. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It would be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Hmm, okaż mu litość, wyszli na mury. Dobra, masz. Our house tends to its people. See this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen <sighs> thief. And I am the lord. I choose to show mercy. Mercy shows greater strength. Strength shows strength, my lord. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord. I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Mhm, to ja się przekonamy. Aha. Mhm, dobra, będziemy litościwym lordem. I co, się za wszystko nie obrażą. Dobra, dajcie mu chleb i co tam. Będzie krat. That was certainly unpleasant. 
but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Kurde. You should have one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Mm-hmm. Here. The bracer of the sentinel. The badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Mm-hmm. Take it. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Dobra, będziemy uh, litościwym lordem. <laughs> Ta. Hmm, że temu, nie? Da, mam podejmować decyzję, tak a wbija tamtego. Którego mam iść podjąć decyzję? Mhm. Mm mm. Maestro tym. Z Duncanem. Spróż na jedzenie. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. Mm. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider, and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. <laughs> As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Do it like you mean it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, yes of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maestor Ortengrin to do it at once. Mhm, dobra. Czy dobrze postąpiłam, ale co mnie to interesuje, dobro. 
Dobra, okej, okay, to gra, trzeba wybierać wybory, rozmawiać z nimi wszystkimi, dobra. Meister? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Mm-hmm. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Mm hmm Dobra. <laughs> Zobaczymy co będzie. Ale co no tam. May sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Mhm. Aha, daj kar wasz. A to się w jak się nazywasz? Sir Ronald. Dobra, jemu tam. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Dojdziemy do tego dyplomatycznie, będziemy się targować, będziemy walczyć. Hmm. Pójdziemy. Dojdziemy do tego dyplomatycznie.
dyplomatycznie, będziemy się targować. Dobra, dyplomatycznie. My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I proszę Ramsey do sali głównej. Ramsey poczeka przy bramie. Dobra, zaprosimy. I will meet him in the great hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Siadaj to już, bo ci każe. <laughs> Co mi może Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Oh, yes. No, it's us. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. To walcz dalej i się uspokój. Dobra? No, panie. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy, how he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. Aha. A to wzywaj Sashera, dobra. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Jeśli Malcolm do Essos, każ Malcolmowi zostać. Malcolmowi zostać. Dobra, niech idzie. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, Ethan. I'm glad you will <laughs> let me do this. 
Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Uh huh. Dobra. <laughs> gramy, gramy. Co grać tu? Wybierać wybory. Dobra. Komnata Lady. Dobra. I co? Czemu ona twierdza królewska przystań? Aha. Co to jest? Pieczęć lodu. Dziwny klucz. Sprawdzi, co to jest. Ja zaraz to się bierze. Sprawdź, co za klucz. Podnieś? Nie wiem. <laughs> no co z tego? Weź, odłóż. No weź. Mam to gdzieś. <laughs> Powiem, że nie było klucza. <laughs> A to co jest? Sprawdź. <laughs> Tak, to za klucz jakiś dziwny. Też podnieś. Pierwszy to do Thai RL. Tirin, Tirin. Nie wiem. Weź pieczeń, odłoż. Dobra, mam to gdzieś. Wszystko bierz. <laughs> Marjorie? Who? Oh. Lady oh. Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. If you feel that way. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever. Oh, coś? Nie, w kurzona jest zła, nie wiem. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Ah, co się zastanie? Wszystko w porządku? Are you all right, my lady? Ani, no lady. Oh. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. On the splendid. God. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Oy, oy. Pogniewała się strasznie. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Raven, I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Uh huh. Ale tak ci dobrałam pierwszy dzień klucz ty. Ty wredna małpo, nie pomogłaś mi ty. Ale ty sukom. My lady. My lady, my lady, Chandler. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. Dobra. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. 